Hi Leos, welcome to your weekly reading for January 22nd through the 28th. I'm going to be taking a look at your immediate past, present, and future. I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. I will also be pulling some advice and the outcome for you. This is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read. Please remember that time is fluid, so this could be something that happened in your past, currently in your present, or coming up in your future. Also, at the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from the Mind Info Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading, Leo. <clears throat> Leo for January 22nd through the 28th, please. All right, Leo. <clears throat> All right, in your immediate past, we have the world card. There was a completion of something um, for you here, and we'll see what that is about, a completion or, you know, closing out a chapter. Maybe, you know, um, you, you finish something. There's also um, learning a lot from what you've gone through. So, you know, whatever that completion is, has really taught you a lot and you've grown a lot from it. Um, but there's closing a chapter here as well. In your current situation, we do have the three of, um, wands that's coming out. So I do see some progress, but I do see some having to wait for certain ships to come in. It's like things look like they're going well, but there's having to wait. Maybe you're waiting for someone to show up here or someone's waiting for you, but um, there is waiting for certain ships to come in and time is valuable. Absolutely. Because that rabbit has a pocket watch looking at it like you know, any moment now this will be happening. Um, but then the, in the immediate future here, we have the four of cups. There's something of a sense of stagnation, boredom, or just feeling like, ugh, uninterested, whatever this is. Um, and this could be, if you're trying to date someone, um, and you're waiting for the right person to come along, you might not be finding what you're looking for right now and that's okay. But there's also maybe feeling a sense of stagnation and not seeing the cup that is being offered to you because you're too focused on the other ones. Like, oh, this didn't work out. This didn't work out. And this didn't work out. Or, you know, it's the ones that are just in the water that you can't get to. Um, so the advice that comes out for you is going to be the six of cups. Hmm, interesting. We're going to have to clarify more because your reading is very interesting and I don't want to just say, oh, it's this, it's that, it's the other. But there's something about maybe, I don't want to say going back to the past, but memories from the past, like remembering something from the past with that Six of Cups. There could also be like opening up and sharing your feelings more here, Leo, um, with people or being open to share things with others. Um We'll see what that's all about. And then your outcome, if everything continues on the path that it's currently on, we have the devil that comes out. And I can't really tell you if that's a good, bad, indifferent. I'm just, you know, let's clarify. We've got to see what's going on in your reading because I'm curious. Um, we're going to start with the world card. And in, in the past, too, some of y'all decided to travel or go places, but it's like something happened, and that's where you learned a lot, um, but something happened. Okay, so you took control of a situation and um, ended something which felt really good, and it brought you to a new blessing and something that feels like a brand new start that you're really 
you know, excited about because whatever this is that you closed out here, this chapter, uh, the Emperor, the Death card, and the Wheel of Fortune come out as clarification. The Ace of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. So there's passion, you know, there's these ideas, there's like this, this is what I desired, I wanted. You were very drawn to doing it. And it's like enough is enough and putting your foot down in a situation of some sort and putting an end to it, but it brought like the beginning with that wheel of fortune of a blessing here, something that felt more aligned. Um, and that's where things feel like they're progressing, but it just feels like there's some kind of weight as well. Like everything's going the way it should be going, but you're also waiting for something here, Leo. So let's go ahead and clarify that three of wands for where you're currently at. Okay, so the Three of Wands is clarified by the Nine of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Empress, as well as the Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So this could also be, like I said, somebody else's energy, so it only take what uh, applies to you. It could be somebody that's tied up to you in this situation, but waiting for ships to come in and worried, you know, um about some kind of being taught some kind of spiritual lesson about blessings and having to wait for them and it just feels like very complicated and that could be you you know as things are progressing you want things to move faster but they're not and there's this worry about you know what if you know in this lesson I'm supposed to learn about these blessings that I have that I now have to wait for them to come in or something of that nature. And, and now there's also the fact that somebody could be waiting for you. Like I really hope Leo shows up, but I'm just, you know, getting the general out there, whether it's you or somebody else's energy here. Um, the thoughts of stress about maybe even learning something that Puts you in the direction of being that empress or learning something that somebody wise once told you that you have to be patient in order to see growth it's it's like it's really bothering you <laughs> um but also things look good but there's this worry that you might have to wait for other things or you're gonna have to wait at some point so let's look at your immediate future with this four of cups and what is this stagnation okay so there's this stagnation okay so if it is like a relationship here there's something about um you know where maybe you're waiting to find the right person, the right relationship, um, someone who has the same beliefs as you, that it feels like it matches very well. It might be very difficult in your current situation if you're trying to find a relationship because in the immediate future, it's like you get bored with these relationships, or I don't even want to call them relationships. You get bored with people coming in with this cup that they have to offer, and you've already had three cups that failed. Like, nope, wasn't what I'm looking for, and I'm just, I'm getting worn out things are just getting like the stagnation of i don't want to date i don't want this i'm okay because you're feeling like people just want one thing and they lie about a relationship and that is not what you're looking for you want something more here leo and so you're not um wanting to to compromise what you want in any way or you know meet somebody halfway like oh if you just want to have fun for a little while and we not make this serious that's okay no you're not doing that and you're like i'm tired of people lying as well there's also like this sense of stagnation if it's not a relationship with somebody and this is like just being bored and you know feeling this like i don't want this i don't like this there's this draw towards something that feels like deception when it comes to your money or something like that and 
I don't know if that's you looking at it like everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm not worried about it um, because you might be told to look at it like do worry about it. But there's some kind of lie about the stability. And I don't know if that's more of is it a lie that it's that bad or is it a lie that you're looking at it that everything's okay and you need to see something different here? Um but there's also the, you know, relationship situation where people are just wasting your time because they want to be around you. And you're like, I know I'm awesome. I know they want to be around me. So let's go ahead and clarify this six of cups for your advice. Oh yeah, there's something about, okay, like in your immediate future for some of you Leos, um, cause I'm, I'm like, it's a little more complex than, you know, just, oh, it's this, it's that, it's the other. Um, it's like you get in this rut, like, ugh, I don't like this. Things feel just, I'm bored. I'm tired of this. But there's this manifestation of lying to yourself something about your comfortability your like what you're building your money or something like that you know your um commitments there's some kind of lie that you're manifesting about it like maybe that you can't change it or whatever that means because in your advice here it's like when your advice came out it really made more sense towards that second half of you know, what's coming up in your immediate future. Because with this advice here, that six of cups is clarified by the three of pentacles, seven of cups, and the six of swords, which is saying like in the past, you had relationships, business commitments, whatever that is, like, you know, your hard work and commitment being recognized by others, having a lot of options to move towards them. You just have to work really hard at it. And um, if you're getting in this rut of, I, I feel like nothing's changing, whatever. It's kind of a lie about your, you know, what you can do to get yourself out of the situation or what you can make out of um, what you commit yourself to here. And if this is relationship stuff, it's something about, you know, your advice looking at um, relationships from the past and the choices that you made and how you moved on from them and how you have... Um, you know, changed. You're not the, you've learned a lot from your past relationships. It's time to keep moving forward and put those behind you and, and being strong, independent, committing yourself. Like you're the one who has gotten yourself to where you're at. But if things continue the way that they are with this uh, devil coming out as your outcome, let's clarify that and see what's underneath the surface of it. Um, Some of you, this is like not being able to let go. If things continue the way that they are, the devil is clarified by the four of pentacles, the six of wands, and the knight of cups. If it comes to relationships, um, the outcome here is that you're still going to have these relationships that you can't let go of because you as associate the attention with love when these people keep creating heartache in your life um, and just it's not good. And that could also be for whatever it is that you might be looking at as I can't change my situation, whatever it just is the way it is. Um, and you know, if things continue that way, you know, what you've invested and there's some kind of heartbreak that happens to everything that you have invested, um, into being, um, a victorious outcome for yourself that you love that causes you some kind of heartbreak and pain, you know, in the outcome here. So be careful of that. Um, and if it's relationships, like I said, Leo, there's something about associating like the, maybe like the reputation of certain relationships that you have invested in, 
with love and stuff that are actually causing you some kind of pain and maybe that's like change things up you know do things differently don't don't go back to doing them the way that you used to do them because if you do that then it's just, you know keep moving forward <laughs> so um let's go ahead and get some oracle messages for you okay so we have healing your body, mind, and soul are in a period of deep healing right now. You're going through many transformations at once, and you're being asked to allow yourself to receive the healing you need with open arms and an open heart. And that's why things can feel a little bit difficult as they feel like, okay, I'm progressing because, because it just feels like Leo, you know, you're that type of sign, a type of person that no matter what you're like, I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to do it. It's fine. I'll be fine. And even if it's tough, difficult, you still push forward. You don't have time to stop and hold yourself back. So sometimes in your readings, it can be difficult to decipher like, are you okay? Are you, are you sure you're okay? But you know, it is saying like, you know, you need, um, the healing you need with open arms and open heart. Um, you need to allow yourself to receive it here in that healing card. And then the other one that comes up out is lighten up. It says you're being asked to remember that life doesn't always have to be so serious. Yes, there are hard things happening. No, it's not always easy to be here on earth, but you can always find time to laugh, be silly and have fun it's so important that you do so. And it feels like if you don't, then you're losing yourself from the the presence or the reality of, of what's going on around you and getting caught into your own thoughts where you're worrying about certain things right now. And then that's moving into, I can't change this situation. It's just the way that it is. Um, but whenever you just kind of, what I guess the lighten up is also saying, take it day by day. Um, and then what you can't handle just all right, I'm going to take care of what I can do. I'm going to let the universe, God, you know, my creator, whatever you believe in, take care of everything else I can't control. And you have to have faith in that. So, um, but anyways, Leo, this is what I have for you. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.